Hello, welcome to Tech Explaining 101, Miami University's top tech tip series. Today, we're here once again to talk about your Google Drive. In our last video about Google Drive, we learned how to find files that have been shared with us. For a refresher, you can check that out on our channel. In this video, we will take a look at how to find files with the pending delete tag. As folks leave Miami, files that they have created will be given a pending delete label in Google Drive. How can you find those files? What do you do with those files once you find them? Let's get started. What does pending delete mean? When people leave Miami, a timer starts ticking down on how long their Miami account will be active post departure. For students, once they leave, they have access to their account for approximately one year after they either drop out or graduate. For faculty and staff, that timer is a little different. These folks will lose access after 45 days, but their files will be retained in Drive. When a student, faculty, or staff member leaves Miami and that timer is started, all of their Google Drive files will be given a label of pending delete. This is to signal to people they have shared files with that that file is about to be deleted. Whether that happens in a year or in 45 days, you should still pay attention to those files and react if you need to retain that data. For more information about when Miami accounts expire and when Google Drive data will be removed, please visit the knowledge base and search Miami account. Find your pending delete files. As we talked about in our previous video, you can find files that have been shared with you by going to your Google Drive and clicking on the icon in the navigation menu that looks like two silhouettes. To find files that have been tagged with pending delete, click on the icon at the far right of the search bar to enter advanced search. Click into where it says labels, then check the box next to pending delete. This will bring up a list of files that will be going away soon. We recommend going through those files and seeing if there are any that you use regularly. This may be files that have been created by a former employer or a former student, uh, any of those files that you may need uh, in your day-to-day -day use. If you do need a file marked for deletion, you have a couple options. You can make a copy of the file to store in your own drive. Right click on the file and choose make a copy. When you do, that copy will automatically be organized into your top level My Drive. So we recommend you click show file location in the pop-up at the bottom left of your drive. This way you can immediately organize the file into a location that makes sense for you. Instead of making a copy, you can also download the file to your computer. Right click on the file and choose download. This will place the file into your downloads folder on your PC. From here, you can choose to re-upload it to your Miami Google Drive or simply keep it on your device. It's up to you. Thank you for following along as we walked through the pending delete label. For more information about our Google Workspace and more tips on how to navigate the changes, please visit the IT Services website. 